What's up, everybody? Like everyone else, I've been waiting for more news to drop on ESBC. I was losing hope we would get anything. And then out of nowhere, they correlate owned us and dropped the latest development update. Man, I clicked on it as fast as I could. I couldn't wait to see it. And from the looks of this footage, which is still in alpha, we have more features to be discovered, more surprises to take in. But most importantly, we have a champion of a game coming our way in Esports Boxing Club. So without any further waiting, here are my thoughts on ESBC's latest development update. The first thing I noticed was Mike Tyson in the background. If y'all know anything about teases in the gaming world, sometimes the biggest ones are in plain sight. And if you look behind Will Kinsler, a.k.a. Raxilla in the ESBC Discord, on the wall on the left, you will see a picture of Mike Tyson and Joe Lewis. We know Joe Lewis is in the game. ESBC announced him back in February 2021. But Mike Tyson is a mystery. Phil Spencer, CEO of Microsoft Gaming and head of Xbox, would place hints in the background of his videos. And this just might be a nod in the same direction by Kinsler. And if it is, I love it, man. I love it. It's glorious, and I hope he keeps doing it. Once the video started, one of the first things I noticed was the crowd. At the 33-second mark of the video, when they are showing Fury versus Wilder, there's a moment where we hear the crowd. The crowd is cheering loud when Wilder lands that shot and Fury backs off. But the crowd looks more lively than before and have a little more individual character. But by no means do I think Steel City is done tinkering with this. I'm really just interested in the variations of the crowd, because just like any other competition, crowd noise, fans, etc., can influence players. This is just another level of detail. Like, will the crowd be worried if the fight is in the opponent's backyard versus cheering loudly with every punch if the hometown fighter lands? That's another and deeper dynamic that I wonder if it will be explored. If it's not, that's cool. That's cool. As long as the crowd does have that same character. I don't want a robotic crowd. I don't want the crowd just robotically cheering every landed punch. You know, no crowd does that. Some punches deserve more oohs, you know, than just a cheer. You know, so I I just want to see how this works out. And I'm interested in seeing how it plays out. Another detail they showed off were the camera angles. I'm encouraged that they are working on providing as many camera angles as possible. Since this title will be entering the fray as an esports title at some point, the more settings available to the players are important. It looks like they will have a like a broadcast type angle, which is a little more pulled back than that close up option. The camera angle to me, since I'm not a pro gamer, is important, but it doesn't bother me as much as choppy gameplay mechanics. And Steel City Interactive has been showing a consistent effort in making sure that they do the right thing by boxing. And this is a sport that I love and that most of us love. I'm just a fan. I'm not a professional boxer and never have been close to it. But I've always been drawn to the sport from when I went to the boxing gym as a kid, putting on the gloves with friends and scrapping outside. ESBC looks to be trying to nail every element to a big fight night as they can. And I, for one, appreciate that. The details they are putting into the atmosphere, the authenticity and the uniqueness of each fighter instead of every fighter just being another skin of the fighter across from them with the same stance, whether they are orthodox or southpaw. I'm looking forward to each fight being its own special experience. They hit on inside fighting, but didn't go into it too deep. I really like what I saw from the inside fighting, but it sounds like and looks like they have some work to do. One thing I'm curious about is, will inside fighting turn into like a mini game? Basically, when you're in close, does it almost shift you to a different mode? Where instead of you throwing a jab, does the same movement like button create space? And for the pure boxers, how difficult would it be to break free from an inside fighter? You know, that seems a little and probably overcomplicated. It needs to be seamless going from inside to outside and vice versa. So it would be kind of risky to jump into a game within a game like that. But you never know. Let's see what they do. It's clear that it's still a work in progress since Kinsler said This was their first pass at it. So I'm expecting a deeper breakdown of inside fighting and all it entails further down the road. But it's something to think about. Kel Brook was also announcing this development update. He just got a victory over Amir Khan, TKO and him in round six. So it's good. It's good. It's a good addition. It's a solid addition. 
Um, nothing to be overly hyped about, but the timing of it fit since he was uh, fighting Amir Khan the same weekend. Good to have Kell Brook as part of the game. And I'll be looking forward to battering him with Crawford when the game comes out. At around the 2.20 mark of the video, you hear Ty Grisham mention, and there's the bell for round two. And there's the bell for round two. Well, we've just so that tells you right there that some voiceover work has been completed. How much and by whom other than Grisham is unknown by me, but Grisham always brings great energy to the zone broadcast. So I'm looking forward to how he does in the game. He won't be alone. There's there will be others. Uh, how that dynamic will work is unknown. So we all have to continue to watch the ESBC space for more info on that. Combination punches look smooth and distinct. While punches thrown look like the head and the body was like one. When the fighter was hit by a punch, it didn't look the same. We all saw how the jaw moved, which is great. The animation was just off. And in some instances, it looked like no part of the body even moved when the head was hit. Now, that happens sometimes, but most of the time, this is alpha and nothing is final. And the bonus is it didn't happen every time. So who knows how the physics of the system truly works? They work with the fighters themselves to put this together. So I'm not too worried about this being messed up in the end. I think it's just it's going to be fine when they release it. It's just something that I noticed. Now, the body shot that Brooke landed on Conor Ben and the reaction, that was good. That was excellent. That was an immediate reaction with a slow fall. But we, we also know as, as fans, sometimes like a fighter would hit that, that other fighter with a body shot and it causes a delayed reaction. Like they don't immediately react. Maybe they're about to throw another punch and the next thing it's like, ooh, they got me. So we'll see if they include both types of reactions, but I could be just asking for too much as well. They mentioned there could be one shot KOs in the game as well. And that's what happens if someone catches you at the right time. One mistake can cost you to fight. So how this is implemented will be important. I can see a world where not many players will think that one punch KO was warranted. If it happens to them, I might be one of those. I'd be like, there's no way I was beating the heck out of this man. This man hit me with one shot. But that's how it is in the sport. You can see we just saw with the Linares fight. Linares, uh, Jorge Linares was fighting Abdullah. He was winning the fight. 12th round, Linares started he catching. Well, in the fifth round, Abdullah caught him with a body shot. And I think that caught his attention. But in the 12th round, he was able to capitalize. And breaking down a fighter over the course of, over the course of a fight can matter. And when you, you catch him right, that could be it. But back to the ESBC development update. So the variety of punches that can be thrown is fantastic. SCI said that they have over 60 individual punches and it was on display. We saw a jab variation when Wilder threw a power jab and then he threw a jab where his head was off the line to help penetrate the guard. Something I saw in the gameplay that I liked was a step around from Fury. That looked nice and smooth. You can see some of the detail they put into the in-ring mannerisms of both fighters, and it was on par with their real-life counterparts. It really appears that SCI is trying to get as many boxers scanned in the game as much as possible. They want them to look and feel like their real-life counterparts. I'm not sure how many will be mo-capped, but even getting an authentic scan of the fighter is still great. You know, this is a sim game. Let's keep that in mind. This is not an arcade like the, the Rocky game that just came out recently. This is a sim game and should be represented as such. Now, they semi answered a few questions during the video. One question was about judging. I'm curious how judging will be used and better explained in the future when they're ready to provide more details, because Kinsler stated there will be multiple judges. And judging outcomes such as majority decisions and draws will be part of the game, as it should be, right? I'm excited about that, but we can't make any firm assessments on that right now. I just want the judging to be at least close to what we see without the perceived hometown cooking and robberies. I got my faith in the guys and gals at SCI 
They're fans of the sport and I can see their passion poured into this project. And I believe, I believe it will continue for years to come. They addressed the community question about the button control scheme. SEI is comfortable with it, but they will continue to look at it in the future. Personally, 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 I need to know all the interactions I'm able to as a fighter before I can even comment on the button layout. I got to know this. With inside fighting, there may be another mini game element, as I mentioned earlier, and this could alter the button operations. That's speculation. It's my own speculation. But we would just have to wait and see and what they come with compared to what they already have. But we're going to have plenty of options as the players. They did not address the DLC question, but mentioned we will get some heavy hitters in the game at launch. And that's including Canelo, Wilder, Fury, Clarissa Shields, Katie Taylor, Terrence Crawford. So that's a great start. I'm holding out. I'm holding out until the full list is revealed to give an opinion on how many fighters should be available at launch. If that's an appropriate fighter, I don't even know if there's truly a right answer to that. You know, one one thing gamers do get tired of are the microtransactions. I like the fact that this will not be an annual release or a rapid release game. It will be built upon. And that is how sports games really should be. Everybody gets tired of how Madden from year to year. NBA 2K, you feel like it's just a port. They're not really changing much except rosters. We're not going to get that with ESBC, and thankfully, we're not. This was an exciting and needed update to get the fan base buzzing again. If that was the intent, it definitely worked, but I really hope they don't go away for six more months before we get anything else. I also hope we can get a release date soon, even if it's spring 2023. I just want to know when the game is coming or about when the game is coming, even if it's next year. You know, so when you're giving me this information, I'm not getting hyped up. And you already know, I mean, you being still seated, they already know it's not going to be released till summer 2023. But the fans are getting hyped thinking possibly something is coming. Because when you look at the footage, you're like, wow, I will play that game right now. What are we waiting for? But they have other plans. So that's why some kind of roadmap really would be nice to see. But that's not for me to decide. I would think they would have an idea by now based on their timeline when the game's going to be coming out. And I think they'll be giving us more details in due course. But either way, this is going to be a fun journey, y'all. And I'm looking forward to covering more of it as a lifelong gamer and fan of boxing. That's all I got for now. Until next time. I'm out.